Hey there, everybody. It's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the first expansion for Coca Pelli from Steffen Feld and Queen Games. This is just simply called Expansion 1. Nine new ceremonies are waiting to be discovered. Combine the special powers of the base game with this expansion to find new strategies and interesting ways to play the game. So, Coca Pelli is a card driven game, and when they're talking about these ceremonies, they're basically different powers that these cards will enact when you play them into your tableau or into your neighbor's tableau. That's one of the mechanics of the game is that you can play cards in front of you and potentially cards in front of your left and right neighbors. So first we'll look through the rule book here. It says changes during setup. Mix the nine selection tiles of this expansion with the 16 selection tiles from the base game. The way you expand the possible con combinations of ceremony abilities and no, it says this way you do that, and no game plays the same. All right, a few little changes. You've got some new icons on these ceremony cards, and they talk in more detail about each of these different cards, all right? So there's not gonna be much to this other than these cardboard tokens that represent the different ceremony symbols. So we can just show those off. The Quality of the tiles is the same as the base game. It's perfectly fine. All right, here's our very simple artwork and iconography on those tiles. Pop those right back. And now we've got a couple of decks of cards. So this is something that would be very easy to just kind of slot right into the game. All right. Front and back. They've got the iconography in the top but they've also got the explanation of the cards underneath. Other players may not play Cocopelli Coca cards onto your ceremony. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me, as I said, one of the mechanics of the game is that you play in front of you, or you could potentially play in front of your neighbors. This would not allow people to do that. All right. Some of these look like they have a little bit more going on than others. But again, very, very simple artwork, very light text on the cards. This is in line with the entire aesthetic of the game, which, you know, that's going to be up to you, whether that's an appealing look or not, but it is definitely consistent throughout the game. Get the second deck out here. Here we go. More cards, more ceremonies. Some of these are, I think, repeated in that other deck. Yeah, it's just for the different. There we go. All right, well, again, this looks like something that would be very easy to just kind of slot right into the base game of Coco Pelli. It just adds some variety, some more powers to the game, kind of changes up the gameplay in a pretty small amount but keeps it fresh there you have the expansion number one for coca pelli thank you for watching another dice tower daily unboxing